Good morning. Good Friday morning, everyone. Welcome to North Dakota Today. I'm Andrea Larson. We I'm clap Chris for Berg. ourselves a lot. <laughs> great. I'm just happy that it's Friday. It's great to have you with us. It's homecoming weekend for the Bison. Mm -hmm. Might as well just scratch off another W for those guys. Might as well. See yes. that you've learned. Now we're talking. Oh, that's talking. right. I called your hotline last that's night. That's right. My bookie. <clears throat> for the Vegas line. Larson's got him winning by, I think, I don't know, I think it was nine or ten, your bookie said. So. Let's see. Who is it? Who are they playing? <gasps> oh my gosh. I thought you wanted my prediction. <laughs> no, I already called your bookie last night well, to get the line, and I now you're asking me now. I put all this money down on the game. I might up a little bit. Yeah. And you don't even know who they're playing. Oh, great. <laughs> Uh, today we're going to give you the history of the jack o -lantern. and my absolute favorite horticulturist is going to be joining us. It is a fun little story she has for yeah. us. Yeah, and then we're going to be doing some, we've got a do-it-yourselfer in the studio talking about how to get these um, really elaborate looks for less. Well, I talked to Leanne earlier this morning, it's yeah. called a furniture expo. Oh. Yeah, so nice. it's going to be amazing. All right, but first, let's head over to Mick Care to see what the weekend is looking like. Hopefully pretty good, Mick. Yes, pretty good. Pretty great, actually. Oh, it'll be a lot warmer tomorrow than today. Today, a little bit warmer than yesterday, but for the second morning in a row, it was frosty. In fact, we're still freezing. Look at the uh, temperatures that will barely get to 50 to 53 this afternoon here in eastern North Dakota. Mid to upper 40s, northwest Minnesota, and a few clouds for the northern end of the valley for your Friday night. Good news for Saturday morning, no frost here. There will be some frost across north central and northeastern Minnesota. Hey, how about these Saturday afternoon tailgating temperatures, mid to upper 50s. Afternoon high, low to mid 60s. The price we'll pay for that will be a wind out of the south, 20 to 30 miles an hour. As we head into Sunday, oh, there's a little rain moving through eastern North Dakota into northern Minnesota. Got a clear sky here in the valley. Big uh, weather this morning is way to the south of us, down in Kansas and southern Missouri, north and eastern parts of Oklahoma and northwest parts of Arkansas, where they have some flash flooding going on. So. Even though there's a little bit of frost this morning, relatively speaking, I think our weather is pretty fine. It did get down to 18, though, this morning in Langdon, guys. 19 in Faustin. So once again, kiss your flowers goodbye. <laughs> 18. Yes. Wow. That's cold, even for mid-October. Yeah, no kidding. Thank you, Meg. Thank you. Hey, let's check in with Christy Larson because she's got the skinny on uh, what's coming up, stories we're working on today for Valley News Live. Christy? Yeah, good morning, guys. Uh, there's a few things that you might want to keep an eye on that we're covering here tonight on Valley News Live. Two people are missing in separate incidents in northwestern Minnesota. The first is Melissa Eagleshield. She was last seen Sunday. The search has been expand expanded to Wabin, Minnesota, after a tip came in that she might be in that area. And the second is Francis Brown from Monoman, Minnesota. He was headed to his brother's home in Monoman when he disappeared Saturday. The search continues for both Minnesotans. There will be a major traffic mess on I-94 and 25th Street South working zone in Fargo today. We're taking a live look right now. As you can see, traffic moving pretty slow. We'll tell you tonight how long that's going to last and also what's coming up next on that project. <clears throat> And as you guys said, it's homecoming weekend for NDSU, and it brings another round of celebrations and activity to downtown Fargo. We did get a sneak peek earlier this morning. Here is just one of the floats that some students have put together. They are going to have so much in store for when the parade kicks off downtown Fargo tonight. There will be several roadblocks and road closures to look out for, though, if you're heading in that direction. So go and check out those on ndtoday.com for the parade route. And I know you guys didn't know who they're playing. They're playing Southern Illinois. Kickoff is at 1 wait, tomorrow. Wait, 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 wait. Don't say Thank I didn't you, know that. Christy. Well, you never told her. You never yeah. told her. Because yeah. I put a bunch of money down on her line, and I'm like, wait a second here. We should even know what they're, who they're I'm playing. I'm just joshing you. Yeah, I know who they do you know, were playing. Do you know the name of Southern Illinois? Do I? The mascot? Do I? I don't, I don't know how to pronounce it. Oh. Like the yeah. sal sal we don't need I'm to impressed. Know. Salukis. That was, <laughs> Salukis. She, there we go. I always. Well done. <laughs> we don't need to know. All we they did know have a this. running joke this morning, though. They had Nutella on a fishing line. So I think I might uh, have to kick in my investigative reporter skills and go find out what that's about. That's hilarious. <laughs> Thank you, Chrissy. Thank you. Yes. <clears throat> hey, if you're going to the mall today, you know what color to wear. Pink. That's right. What, what did Macy just say? Did we miss something? 
Okay, good. Well, you talk to me, and I'm like, I, I'll, st I'll stop everything to listen. Wow, Macy, you got some power back there. Yeah, I know, I know. Um, yeah, wear pink because they're having a huge breast cancer awareness event out there. Lots of booths. Uh, one of our favorite authors, Cindy Agel, will be out there signing books about her journey. And you know what? They're even turning the fountain pink. That's going to be cool. I know, I know. And all the money thrown <clears throat> in will be donated to breast cancer research. You should go get a picture of that. Go down to the... Uh, if Isabella was here, I would go do it. Exactly. So, but that, I think that is going to be cool if to I see. If I have time, I will, yeah. Also, library uh, hosting their first, I guess, crafter fair this weekend. So if you're into crafts so. and whatnot, you can head down there. It's Saturday mm -hmm. from 1 to 4. Go down and uh, you can buy some stuff, open to everyone, and obviously go down and see some great crafts that people are creating here locally in Get the area. Get some inspiration, really, is what it's all about. <clears throat> okay, this next story, Andrea, I want to get aye, aye, your aye, thoughts aye, on. is all I have to say. So apparently the Microsoft CEO, this, I am not making this up. No. This is the Microsoft we we can only hope that you're CEO it. named Satya Nadella, which we'll get more about uh, the history or, or mm -hmm. his origin of his name in a moment. But first... He's down at a conference in Phoenix. It's about celebrating women in tech. Right. So let me just repeat that. You're down celebrating women in technology. Mm -hmm. Comes up about, hey, what do you think about them, you know, going out and getting raises? And we yeah. all talked about, obviously, how women uh, earn less than men in some professions and whatnot. And so he says, I'm not really, it's not really about for women. It's not right. really about asking for the raise. Mm -hmm. But knowing and having faith that the system will actually give you the right raises as you go along. Yeah, and then he went on to say, it's all about karma. Just wait for karma to kick in. <laughs> oh, you know, and, and why really? would he say that? Because it comes back to, and it lets him know that's the kind of person that I want to trust. My first thought was, are, was he high? Was he high <laughs> when he said that? <laughs> really? I, I mean, absolutely And then I thought, stunning. way to represent Microsoft. Way to go, buddy. It's I know, just... I know, I know. Way to repress women. Mr. CEO. Well, and, and you and I touched on this, and I can share this because uh, Aji and I have talked about this a bunch. Aji's obviously Indian. Both mm -hmm. her parents are from India. Mm -hmm. She wasn't born there, but, you know, that's her heritage. And right. so if you do your homework in India, I mean, it is right. unbelievable the way women get treated. It's obviously a lot of arranged marriages there, and we've talked about this this morning, where if a woman doesn't bring enough wealth, if you will, to the marriage, and I'm not making this up, the men will actually burn the wives in ovens. I mean, it's oh, yeah. freakish oh, yeah. how repressed women are there. Um, you know, the other thing is that you've got so much gender abortion in that country that there's actually villages now in India where men don't have any women to marry. They want because to. Because they're burning them in ovens. Well, yeah. and because they, it's, it's, so, and I'm not obviously excusing this man's comments, but if you understand his culture, that's part of the way the Indian culture views women right now. Yeah, we're not excusing his comments. No, no I, not in any way, shape no way. or form. But moving on to some good news, <clears throat> the Nobel Peace Prize has been awarded, a man and then a girl. And this girl is the one who, um, is, is it Mal Malala? Malala, yeah. Yes, I don't know her last name, but um, we've been hearing about her because she was shot in the head, right? And has gone through all sorts of turmoil. Yeah, but do you know why she was shot in the head? Uh, refresh my memory. She was going to school. Yes. She's from yes. Pakistan. She's going to school as a female. Again, we're kind of tying these things together. She's going to school. The Taliban show up and shoot her because she wants to go get educated. Yeah. And women aren't supposed to get educated in Pakistan, which, by the way, borders India. So, mm -hmm. again, it, it's... <laughs> yeah. But kudos to Malala. 16, she gets up and stands in front of the U.N. and speaks. Knocks it out of the park. Got a standing ovation at 16 yeah. in front of the UN, mm -hmm. which, by the way, she's 17 now, winning the Nobel Peace Prize. Average winner of a Nobel Peace Prize is? I, I'd say like 45 to 60. It's like 66. Yeah. So. There we go. There's the video. Unbelievable. Isn't it? And great job on her part. for. And, and what's great, she was on uh, John Stewart a while back. And Stewart asked her and said, hey, if you met the people that shot you, what would you say? What did she say? She goes, you know what? I would stand in front of them and say, look, I just want to get educated. I want your kids to get educated. That's what I'm about. If you want to now shoot me, go ahead and shoot me. Wow. I mean, she is incredible. I'd like to meet her. Um, from, from the Nobel Peace Prize to Katy Perry. We cover it all here on North Dakota Today. She's uh, becoming quite the football fan. She's been on ESPN game day, and she's sort of, you know, she was kissing the mascot on the sidelines <clears> and 
creating all sorts of uproar. Now she might perform at, at uh, the next Super Bowl. Yes. Sounds yeah. like she's ink inking the Half deal or at least close to it. Halftime show, February 1st. Keep in mind, she also picked Mississippi State and Ole Miss to win their games last week, which right. they weren't supposed to win. So, um, But I think what's fascinating is she's set on college game day because the NFL, which this is hysterical, the NFL is a nonprofit, and they were going to ask the artist to pay to play in the halftime gig. And she said in college game day, she's like, I'm not one of those kind of girls that mm -hmm. pays to play. So we'll see. Maybe they're going to give her a free ride. And she's got Maybe. 55 million Twitter followers. So I it's, know. She's, it's huge. Good for the NFL if she performs. No kidding. Hey, uh, wouldn't you want to be the president and have, you know, superstars behind you? Specifically, Gwyneth, pa Gwyneth Paltrow. Uh, apparently, she hosted a, uh, a little shindig for the president fundraiser recently and was so enamored by him. She said, like, before introducing him, or as she was introducing him, I'm one of your biggest fans, if not the biggest. You're so handsome, I can barely speak properly. And then the president joked, you know, hey, I'm taking her to my next event. <laughs> Gosh. I, I know. I know. It's kind of funny. I, I, I'm not even going to make a comment, because no? it's going to be inappropriate for this show. You remember um, Saturday Night Lives, though, um... Jan Hook, right? Amazing. Yeah. Sinead O'Connor, she used to play. And I mean, Kathy Lee Fay, I think it was her name, and she was incredible. Do we have a clip? Preach, come on, it's a beautiful song. All right. Just, All right. Yes, let's Fine, is that uh, Kathy Lee's yes. Easter special? Let's roll the clip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're bringing her up because she has died at the age of 57. Five seasons on SNL. I yeah. thought it was longer than that. I did too, but. Very, very talented, and apparently mm -hmm. she's been a huge inspiration for, y'all know Amy Poehler, she was on SNL, um, she's in Parks and Recreation now, which you ever seen Parks and Recreation? Yeah. Hysterical. <laughs> Not a lot of it, but a little bit. Um, and then we've gone, th yesterday, the day of caring, United Way, there were some Robert Asp students out taking care of business for some seniors, helping out. Um, all sorts of, you know, window washing and, and yard cleaning and things like that. So that's pretty awesome. Dusting and cleaning. It's a, it's a really great event. It helps lots of seniors all around the area. United Way does great work in this community. Yeah, absolutely. All right, when we come back, we're going to give you a little bit of history of the jack-o'-lantern and also when you should be planting certain spring bulbs. I'm not and, talking about light bulbs either. And Tony's here too, a little tailgating recipe. To do it My yourself. man, the cello in the house. <laughs> Where you been? Some do it yourself projects. He's over there with his visor gear on. Stay close. We'll be right back.